So Keith, one of the things I love about Hudson Gardens is absolutely everything you want to learn, you can come out here and do, including they have some nice vegetable gardens towards the back of the lot. I love these raised beds and how they're, they've got the really sunny stuff out in the sun and part of the beds are in an area where they get a little bit of shade. Some of your cooler season crops like the lettuce and so forth get a little bit of afternoon shade. That's really nice. So this is kind of like Harvest 101. So we've got a couple of items here that we want to talk to people about so they know when to be harvesting. Black olive plants. You know, I heard about this story. I used to think that these were black olive plants, and I was very disappointed when I tasted my first one. But this is an eggplant. They're about ready to harvest at this size. They're still nice and firm if you squeeze them a little bit. If they start to get soft, that means they're getting hollow and kind of pithy on the inside and have gone past. And speaking of gone past, right behind you I, is, is I, a lethal... Well, it's, it's huge. It's a kohlrabi that is definitely gone past. It looks like almost sci-fi. This is going to be all full of stringy fibers and woody and just not very good eatings. You want to get these things while they're about the size of a tennis ball or smaller. Well what's kind of nice about these gardens is in knowing that they're trying to educate people. We also have some small fall crops that have obviously been planted yeah. for some new vegetation. Here's some baby kohlrabis right here that they've put in the ground. You can see at various stages of growth. Um, I did see some winter squash over here. One of my favorites, spaghetti squash. And there is a trick to knowing how to pick those and when. Well, and there's also some beautiful tomatoes and peppers that I want to look at. And I have to be honest, I've been nibbling on the tomatoes. Oh, hope you don't get in trouble for that. Let's go over there and look at the uh, spaghetti squash. So Keith, these tomatoes have absolutely gone crazy. And fortunately with tomatoes, usually people know or have a good idea when to pick them because they're the right color and the right size. Right. But speaking of size, I mean, these things are gigundous. And is that a word? It is. It is in my vocabulary. Now, a lot of people will ask, well, should I cut them back? Should I make them smaller? They're, you know, these flowers that are flowering now here in late August, early September, they're never going to make a, a mature fruit. But if they're cherry tomatoes, they very likely might make mature fruit. If they're the big slicers like early girls or big boys or some of the heirloom types, no, they're not going to. So you can cut those flowers off, but I'd leave all the foliage. The foliage is, is really important. It's the energy factory of the plant. It's going to be very important in making sure that the fruit that is set on finishes growing, matures, and ripens. Tomatoes are on the easier side. What about squash? Well, squash you have several kinds. I mean, there's the summer squash, like the zucchinis and the yellow crooknecks and so forth, that you pick when they're little. I mean, little, like this, not like this. You pick them small. But there are also winter squash, which you leave on the vine like you would pumpkins. Pumpkins would be considered a winter squash. You leave them on the vine till they're mature, but it's really not obvious when they're mature. I mean, some things it's like- It's a little bit more complicated. And these are looking beautiful. Yeah, these, these uh, spaghetti squash right here, they're not gonna turn orange like a pumpkin does and tells you, pick me, you know? So what you- Does it really say that? It does if you listen close. So what I'd like to do on, on these on these winter type squashes, they, they form a very hard rind on the outside and that's what gives them their, their storage uh, qualities or their keeping qualities. The way to check to see if they're ready is later on in the fall, a lot of times you can even wait until a light frost has, has frosted the foliage. Use your fingernail. You have this equipment on you already. Use your fingernail and try to stick your fingernail in the rind of the squash. And if it doesn't go in easily, it's ready to pick. Well, I think we've given people a lot of gardening 101. We've even seen radishes that are ready, but they have some crops that are coming up. They've got their fall crop growing already. We've seen some beautiful peppers in all sorts of different colors, the green and the purple. Oh yeah, and the green ones, by the way, if you leave the green bell peppers on your plants longer, most of them will turn red, and then they give you a whole different flavor, but they're still sweet. So this is our Harvest 101, but if you have additional questions, make sure to visit us at diggingcolorado.com and email us your questions, and we would be happy to respond for you if there's something we didn't cover for you today. But we actually have another garden that we're going to go visit. Oh yeah, the Blue Bear Garden. Blue Bear Garden is a new garden, and the catering company that has this garden is actually the people that service our food at the Colorado Convention Center. So their organic garden, we're gonna check it out next. <laughs>